All right, let's get it started. It is time for another episode of the Mystery Hour as we return to the return of the Oberdin. As the insanity ensues, things are getting more frustrating, and I struggle to make paperwork look entertaining. By my calculation... By my calculations, this episode should be going up on Turkey Day. Whoa. So, oh God, I have broken everything. But since it's since it's Turkey Day, I, I I've got something to make it special. I was gonna do like a special hunting episode or something. And I wasn't sure how I was going to go about it, but uh, I figured it out. This is what I'm going to do. All right, we're good. We're ready. We're ready to discover who everybody is and how they died. It is safe to say that I am lagtastic. I am dropping 9.1% of all of my frames. Life is terrible. I, I don't remember what we were doing. It was before last weekend, so... How about... We head back here and we take a look. Because if I remember right, we were trying to figure out who this guy was. We just know he fell overboard to his death. Or something? Because we never actually saw his death. So, my guess is he's the guy with a tattoo on his arm, but... Eh. He was in the loose cargo bit. He was in the Soldiers of the Sea, which is where we last left off with him. So, I don't know if we can actually determine anything from the loose cargo. He was there during the murder. Oh yeah, that. I mean, we can sort of, we can see him during the big portrait moment when ES had, uh, I had drawn everybody. I don't know how much that's going to help. Oh, he isn't the one with the tattoo in his arm. He's not the one with the tattoo in his arm. What's, what was that one? Bitter cold? No, he's not here. So he was never in the hammocks. Who the hell is this guy? Lao, you have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. Quiet. As captain of this ship, yep, there he is. By the authority of the East India Company and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. He's just a seaman. It could be anybody. I really hate this right here, and it kind of bugs me that I I can't figure out who he is. I can't figure out how he died. <sighs> so, in the bitter cold... Who was available that isn't like this guy, maybe? No bare arms, though. 
We know who he is. Ah. Why do we not... How did we figure out what his name was? Oh, he's one of the Russians. And so we don't know what his name is. We're just guessing. Yeah. Were we after Baldy at one point? Because I'm kind of giving up on this guy right here. Mr. Wolf, it, you are there's just so much wrong with him Ready, men. that I can't quite picture it. Who are you? What kind of crazy mustache beard combo is that? Have we got him down? Yeah, he's the carpenter's mate. Who's this monkey? Do we have his name? Is his name Bubbles? Okay, that's the cook. He did. We got him. That's the butcher. Makes as much sense as anybody else. That's what's his face, which uh, that's right. His name was Lars. That's Mr. Destructor. Hey, Doom Lad. We're back at this. Do we have a name for this guy? Oh, that's the third mate, Stewart. He's Curious George. Oh, of course he is. Okay, we know that's Martin. We've already got Nichols. Nichols is an asshole. There's the captain. This guy. Who is this guy? I think I decided he was the gunner. Well, I mean, it said right there what I decided he was. Bosun's mate, because he's got a top hat. Kablam! Ah, uh, so, okay, I'm giving up on this guy. I'm giving up on this guy. I seem to remember me going crazy trying to get him down right. <sighs> All right. Let's get out of here. Figure out who we're going to go after next. I'm thinking probably the best thing to do is to go to the bitter cold and start tracking down these people individually. Like, we don't know this guy. Bookmark all of his memories. Let's go after this guy. He was clubbed by Captain a long while ago. This is his first time showing up here. His next time was in the rigging, but we lecked all over there. In fact, let's go back to the bitter cold and take close looks at everybody in the hammocks. And see if we can't identify who all those people are. If not to identify them for certain. That's right, it was a wrapped up body. Then to gain clues. Now I've already got the guy with the tattoo, but maybe we can get better clues. About the other people. Or at least figure out where they are in the manifest. Because that, that so far has been our most effective way of identifying everyone, right? So, so, for example... This guy right here, on the back of his arm, tattoo of a lady. That's number 37. So let's see what else we can discern from everybody else. I got nothing here for number 42. Do we even know who 42 is? And so therein lies like the, the actual rub. 42 is Nichols, or Nicholas. So we've actually done dealt with him, so we don't gotta worry about him. Who's this guy? 
Can we figure out any kind of things? Nothing about his shoes. He's number 36. And we've already got number 36, so that's good. So we don't got to worry about him. Who else is on this ship? There's the three Russians. And I'm not 100% sure the best way. One of them's got a pipe. Number 47 has a pipe. Which one's number 47? <gasps> Hello, number 47. We've got something. Okay, let's write this down real quick. Where is my pens? There we go. So we know number 47 has a pipe. So we can figure out maybe what who he or what he is. Number 45 is... Oh, that's this guy right here. He's number 45. Oh wait, no he's not, sorry. This is number 45. So that leaves number 46 back there and I don't see anything. We're gonna have to use that as process of elimination. So, next set. Um, he's got shoes. Cool. He's number 39. Uh, that's Ji Zhang. Number 40, Li Hong. Number 41, Wei Li, which we already know what Wei Li looks like. I can't really see anything worth taking note of, except that he clips through his. Uh, Hammock. I'm pretty sure that's a mistake. Okay, what about this guy? Number 38. Huang Li. And I don't see anything particularly interesting about him either. And here is number 59. George Shirley. Who is hanging out with the Chinese men. Seems a little wrong. I know I'm, just, I'm trying not to be racist, but I mean, God, lag is terrible. I'm got 16% dropped frames. Cripes. Why do you guys even watch? He's got kind of a nice shoe, I guess. I'm hoping I won't have to look at people's shoes. What else can we figure out? We know who these guys are. This is number 56. We already know who he is. Here's number 55. This is the guy we think is this guy. We think he fell over to, to his death. Got any way to identify him? Whoa. I could just walk through walls. Do that at other places? Hmm. I really got nothing on this one. Here's number 57. Alexander Booth, English. Anything interesting about him? No? There. Here's number 58. Patrick O'Hagan, Irish. And I don't see anything that sticks out about him either. Hmm. Maybe we can use that as a way of process of elimination. So, okay. He is on this picture list, so he, we might actually have him correctly identified, even though we may not have exactly who he is. So, we've got two clues here. 
47 has a pipe, 37 has a tattoo of a woman on his arm. So let's go forward and see what more we can find out about this top man right here. What's the next part he's in? Okay, this is the part where everybody was electrocuted. Don't know if we can find anything else. Really? It was there during the doom. Let's see if we can find him in the doom. Uh, wrong way. Looks okay on your end. Almost no stuttering. Huh. Well, I'm at like 15-16% dropped frame, so... I don't know why. Cannon deck should be the front, right? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Just step over that. And away we go. Okay, we're definitely keeping an eye out for tattoos. We think this is Paul Moss. Actually, no, that is Paul Moss. We've worked him out. 43 is right here. Another thing in the hammock. Who's 43? Maba. Now ah, we got him. It's hard to tell at 20, 30, <laughs> 44. Lewis. Is there anything interesting about Lewis here? No? Not really. Damn it. Might be another situation where it'll have to be... Here's 45. 45 is... Uh, Leonard Volkov. I've already seen this guy. Okay. <clears throat> None with a tattoo. Oh, these guys have sleeves. I can't find out anyway. We've already got you down. And we've put you down as, like, the third mate, Martin Perot. 56. Oh, this is Brennan. I've already got him down. Really? Oh, that's why we couldn't identify him. His hammock is down, and we can't find a number. I don't think so. Hey, this guy's got his own sword. 36, huh? Oh, we've already got him, though. Yeah, he's the Persian. That makes sense. These are two empty hammocks. They don't tell us anything, except they're number 48. Uh, Nathan Peters. We've already done him. This is the card table that looked like the middle of the hammock. Continuing, 49, which I think we've already done. Yep, Lars, we know who he is. Wait a second, wait a second. There should be more people. Oh. Let's see what's going on up here. Up here. That, who is that? That's the Persian. There were three hammocks before. That looked like the middle hammock. I'll take a closer look in just a second. No, we already know who that is. Not not him, him. Nope. No, 
Oh, we know Lars already. Where is this guy? We're missing a guy. We can't even find a hammock with his name on it. Um. That's a tentacle. Alright, let me take a look at that hammock again that you were talking about. The middle hammock. You said three hammocks back. X. We've seen X. We've seen someone in an X hammock. That might actually be this top man. That's right, this is Brendan. Huh. Stop that. He's in the very next entry. It's stuttering more now. I'm still at 15%. So it hasn't gotten any better, but it hasn't gotten any worse. I don't know what's going on. It might be my internet. My ISP's been messing with me lately. Hmm. Okay. Next, let's check out this, the Doom Part 3, which is here, and nope, not yet, right here. Okay. X is empty, god damn it. Well, no tattoo, so guess what? We know for certain that this guy is not number th 37. Not that that helps us much. While I'm here, let's look to see if anybody else has a tattoo. Uh, nope, nope. This guy bugs me. We assumed he was crushed by a terrible beast. Gonna keep an eye out for you, Baldy. He just disappears between this and the next part. Still, maybe this is the guy that was in the X hammock. are getting no more clues from this. Yeah. Yeah, this is crappy. I don't like this. We just knew he's a scene or a top man. Seventeen percent drop frames. Oh, it's just getting better and better. Ah, 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 ah. 
This is going to be the turkey episode of Dropped Frames. What happened to this guy? Not this guy. His head was blown off by a beast wielding a cannon. No, Baldy. Baldy's gone. It says he's here. But there's no sign of him anywhere. He's just disappeared in those last five minutes. There's our man here. Maybe he's the gunner's mate. Doesn't make sense. Although they do both have uh, wonderful beards. I think it's just a, a top man. Just a regular top man. What the heck happened to him? Can we say that he was blasted? As well, killed, shot by a cannon, by a terrible beast. Of course, it doesn't tell us who he is. Because cause I don't see him. I don't see his body anywhere. Is it like out there somewhere? No, don't do that. There's a tentacle out there. It's not that direction. Oh, I can just walk through barrels. That's good to know. Huh. Can I walk through barrels and find Baldy somewhere? He was pulled out the window. See, I'm guessing so too. I'm looking for... I wish I could jump so I could get a better angle at some of this shit. But I don't see a body is the thing. Wait, maybe I kind of see a body? Everything is so uncertain. My best guess is that he was crushed or eaten by a terrible beast. Devoured by a terrible beast. Or... I think probably crushed is the best thing, because that's what the Terrible Beast has been doing. We still don't know his name. We don't, we're not even sure how to figure out his name. And then there's this guy, Top Man Extraordinaire, with no identifying features. Except his shoes are kind of nice. Oh my god, this is it. This is the moment when we discover somebody's identity by looking at his shoes. Yep. Yep, those are distinct shoes. Has anybody else got shoes like that? No. No, this is it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So, this top man, we gotta go back to all of those hammocks and see who's wearing those shoes. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're actually doing this. The day I dreaded it. The day I dreaded is finally here. When I will have to identify somebody by looking at their feet. Yep, this is him. Number 59. Let me make sure this isn't somebody that's already been taken. George Shirley. Oh, jeez. I feel so dirty. I'm right. Nobody else has those kind of shoes. Maybe 
maybe number 58. <laughs> Could go either way, fuck. <laughs> like, I'm hoping I'm wrong. That shoe looks pretty similar to this shoe over here. If I'm wrong, then, like, I want to be wrong. Because I want that to be the stupidest reason to identify somebody. And you know what? I am wrong. Ah, uh, I am, on one hand, it's frustrating, but on the other hand, I'm kind of glad they didn't do that. <sighs> All right. What else can we discern? He was in this version of the Doom. I don't know if that's going to help. Something else that I was thinking of while I'm here in the Bitter Cold. What is the next version of the Bitter Cold? We think this is the surgeon's mate. That's the third mate. We figured him out. Okay, good. It's the way out. What I'm hoping to see here... Open. No, there's actually not a lot to see here. Surprisingly, I was hoping to find clues. No, no I'm not going up there. Let's see what we can see through this here. Just trying to find some new information. Like we can spy on the uh, on the king and queen here. I think. Should be right in here. No, nope, not really much to glean. Okay. Like, is this the surgeon's mate? This feels like the surgeon's mate. Because why else would he be here? Helping out the surgeon with a sick man talking to Martin here. This game is hard, man. This game is, is a lot harder than I... I, I guess I'm not a great detective. All right. Last part of the bitter cold. What I'm doing is I'm trying to see if I can glean more information of who has that goddamn... Uh, who has that goddamn tattoo? Also, I don't remember getting too close of a look here either. So we're pretty sure we know who these people are. Like, maybe not this guy.
Yeah, other than him, there's really no nothing else to, to discover here. Monkey. Okay. And finally, because I wasn't uh, wasn't one hundred percent on it, I also want to take a look at the cargo, loose cargo. The first one being right here in the cargo hold in the middle. Was that where it was? Yeah, that's right. It was. And then the next one was uh, was the stowaway that died in the barrel. Again, this is just kind of looking for that guy with the tattoo. Did we figure out who this guy was? Yeah, that's Samuel Peters. It's Lars. Ever standing guard is uh, Hawkson. Solomon Seed. you oh you were spiked and we never did forget your name and there's a lot of people up top that we can't reach and bothers me a little bit and we can't get a good look at them anyway like I wish I could climb up some stairs somewhere I don't see any option for that I want to get closer looks at these people. Whoa. Who are you? You're Renfield. No tattoos. Like, I can't get a good look at any of these people. Kind of bugs me. Except this guy. That's Lars, though. We know him. Oh, shoot. It's interesting to note that the king and queen were already on board. Well, other way. If I remember right, it was over here. Bugs me. Like, I, I don't feel like I'm making any progress in this episode. Oh, that's Brennan. I can tell from here. Really doesn't tell me much, does it? Like, there's no extra information. It's the same goddamn setup. I'm at a loss for what to do near now. Like, I've got too many questions and not... Not 100% sure how to give any answers. I mean, we could always just call it good and leave the ship now. And say, well, I got 39 people, but uh, I don't know who everybody else is, so fuck it. Search for a memory where we only have one unknown person. That's not a half bad idea.
Okay. Well, it's not going to be cargo. Because we got this guy. This guy. Bitter cold was pretty good, but we were just through this. What about murder? Okay, we know who he is. We know who he is, obviously. We know Nichols, because Nichols is an asshole. Okay, we know who those four are. We know those two. Whoa! Hmm... That's right. We were dealing with the different mates. Still not sure why I have these wrong. Okay, whatever. Well, this isn't the memory we're looking for. Okay, we know this is one of the Russians. Who is this guy? We know who these guys are. Okay, this is a, is that a Chinese man? I think that's a China man. Who the hell are you? Who the hell is this guy? He's got two triangles. We should know who he is. Okay, let's try and find this guy. Gotta go up top. But maybe not. This was the first time he showed up. Loose cargo. Didn't help me. Bitter cold. He's one of the guys on uh, in the hammocks. Then murder. That won't help either. But this one might. Where is this? What? What? Okay. Gun deck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On your toes. Oh, this is where he died. Hey. We know who he is. 
He's number 37, the man with the tattoo. Timothy. He was shot by Nichols. So this guy, we have for certain figured him out. And you know what? While we're here and we know for certain this guy has figured out, let's mess with the Russians. Drowned by a terrible beast. Was drowned? Was he drowned? I guess he was kind of drowned. Just, let me see. Disappeared in the calling. Same kind of thing. If not drowned, then strangled by a terrible beast. Because both of the Russians were killed in the same area. That's Lars, isn't it? Yeah. Just taking a look around at everybody else. Okay, we already know who you are, Peter. But not who you are. Hmm. Wait a second. He's got a pipe. We know who he is. He's number 47. Boom! Of course, that means... Okay, first off, let's go back to where we were, which was the calling. So we know this is number 47, which means his friend is the other Russian. And now we know for certain that's his name. Yep, you got it, Doom Lad. So, all right. That helps quite a bit. And so we have this Stuart. Where is this Stuart? He's supposed to be here, right? So... Oh, that's him. I don't know what it is. Something tells me this guy is Irish and not Indian. Which means this guy is Indian. I know I'm pushing it, but I'm looking at this guy. That is not an Indian man's face. Although... No, I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with that. Let's see what else we can find around here. Oh, this body is still here. There's Lars. So, I don't know. What else can we do in five minutes? You know what? While we're here... Soldier of the Sea. That's fine. But where's some of the bookmark his memories? He has a strongly European face. I agree. First time I saw this guy was in the Unholy Captives. Let's get a closer look at this, uh, this Stuart and see if I got this right. This is on the gun deck. Let's get to it. It's one deck below us. All right. Oh, wait, no, we're on the gun deck. So 
that means we need to go all the way to the bow near the steps it looks like all right all right let's see if we can't find the other steward well, we know who you are. We know who you are. Looks like all the stewards are here, actually. Who are you running towards? Wait a second. Why isn't he? Captain Stewart. We know he's the Captain Stewart. Like, we know he's the Captain Stewart. No, That's midshipman. That's another midshipman, which we kind of guessed. He was knifed. But we may have got his name wrong. I don't think there's any other midshipman, though. It's up to debate. Oh yeah, look at that face. That is an Indian. No, he's not as European. His nose and brow are a little more long or widened, I guess is the way to put it. No, I think I picked right. Oh, we already know who you are, Nathan Peters. While we're here, is there anybody other than this guy that we don't know? Here we have three guys together. Midshipman. Midshipman. Gotta be the other midshipman. So, the only thing that we got wrong about this guy is who this guy is. Because we're not sure who this guy is. Hat strikes again. Who is Hat? Can we will we ever know the identity of Hat? He's not a topman, he's not a seaman. He's not a steward. No way he this guy is a steward. Gunner is the only thing I can think of. Ah, hat, what are you doing to me, hat? Oh, it doesn't tell me the number of people I figured out. See, he's a military officer. Gunner's mate? Gunner's mate wouldn't have a hat like that. It, it's that I'm calling him hat because the hat is what's throwing me off constantly This guy this guy shows up everywhere right He's in like 15 different memories 12 and Ah uh, He was shot to death by John Davies Okay, I'm getting tired, and I'm lagging like hell, so I'm going to call it good for now, but here's what we're going to do. Next episode, tomorrow, we're going to focus on this guy and this guy only. We are going to discover the true nature of Hat. Hat is going to be our mission let me get out of this memory. And we're going to figure that guy out. We're going to track him down through all the memories. We will understand the hat man. Wow. <laughs> How is this happening to me? 
So, okay, that was my special turkey day of frustration and mystery. So, <laughs> let's, let's get out of here. All right. As always, thank you to anybody who might be watching in the background, all you lurkers and all you bots who I appreciate anyway. And to those who are watching this on YouTube, have a happy gluttony day. Fill up on turkey. Um, I'll probably set this to, to get out by 12 o'clock. I don't know. And uh, Doomlad, thanks for showing up. Sorry for the lag. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. I will see y'all next time.